Hi everybody, I'm Elena. Um, today I um, am doing a fall makeup look. I believe it's wearable. Um, some people might think it's overdone, but you know what? There's like no rules to makeup, so you can wear it wherever you want. You can wear it in the summer if you want. It doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, it's it's kind of dramatic. I mean, it, it depends on like your definition though. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, just remember that you can always tweak stuff. You don't have to follow this like word for word and eyeshadow for for eyeshadow. All right, bye. Okay, I'm starting with my Makeup Forever Step One um, Radiant Primer, and I've been using this for a while, and I really love it. It's like it's just really nice. It's also really moisturizing, which sometimes some primers just really lack. So I love it. <laughs> and, and then I'm going to go with my foundation. And I mix um, Josie Maron, I think, <laughs> Argan Illuminizer. And I mix that with my Cover FX foundation. And this just gives me like a really um, dewy finish. And it's really full coverage too, which I really like. If you do not like full coverage or um, dewy foundations, then I would not suggest this. But if you have dry skin, then this is just so perfect. Also, mixing it just gives it that extra, like, boom. Like, it's amazing. I can't even. <laughs> and I'm blending this out with my damp beauty blender. And I'm also making sure to really get everywhere down my neck, on my jaw, so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm using my um, under eye concealer. This is only under eye concealer. It looks bad if you try to cover up anything else with it. And I'm using the color porcelain. And then I'm using the Real Technique sponge to really get under my eyes and really just blend that out. Okay, now I'm using my Naked Skin um, concealer in the color Fair. And I'm just putting it where um, I really want to have like some light going on and I'm also using it to color I mean, cover any redness or any blemishes on my face. And then I'm going with my e.l.f. primer. I love this primer and it's really cheap so I would definitely suggest it. And once I'm done with that I'm going in with powder foundation. And I am using the color NW10. Um, I love to set my concealer with um, extra coverage. I just love coverage, obviously. Um, if you do not, then I would not suggest these steps. Okay, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek shadows, which I just love, as you can tell by my expression. Okay, I'm first going to start with the Real Techniques, um, just a flat brush. And I'm mixing Baby Face and Beaches and Cream. And this is just a very natural color. And it's just going to like begin the process of really adding those darker colors. Okay, as you can see, I already did my eyebrows and one of my eyes. And that's just going to make this go a little faster because that can take a while. And I'm starting with an MB13 Morphe brush with the color Bitten. And I'm really just going to blend that out into my crease. And it's just a really pretty, like, dark magenta almost. I don't know. I love that co this color. And then I'm going in with the Morphe B80 brush in with the color Cocoa Bear. And I'm also blending that out just like I did with the color Bitten. And I'm also just going to clean that up a little bit because it can get messy. And then I'm going to go in with a large blending brush, which is the Morphe M502 brush, and with a burnt orange color to really blend those colors out. And it's with the color Chickadee. It's a really beautiful color, and it's just a nice shadow to really blend out all those shadows with. 
And I'm also going to kind of put it under my eye a little bit, but not too much because I do actually do not really like shadow under my eyes, so I try to avoid that. And now I'm just taking a flat, um, small brush. I think I got that at Sephora. And I'm using the color Baby Face again to just put that in from my inner corner to my um, the middle of my lid. And then over that, I'm going to be using a sh kind of like a shiny color. Um, which is the color Glamorous, I think. Yes, Glamorous. And then I'm also highlighting my brow bone and my inner corners with the color Ice Queen with that same brush. Actually, it's a different brush. <laughs> Another flat brush. Okay, now I'm just going to line my eyes, and I am using a liquid liner that I just got at the drugstore. It's the Revlon Color Stay. I have been using this for years, and I love liquid eyeliners. I have never really gotten into anything else, so this is just like my go-to. Also, if you want to wear um, any falsies, this would be the time to put them on after you do your liner, but I choose not to. Now I'm using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and this is also like one of my favorite mascaras. Um, I always like go back to this. I always try a new ones, and then I'm like, nope, it's always the Better Than Sex. That's what's the best. <laughs> and then I'm also using um, the two, the Benefit Roller Lash mascara, and I just got on the sample size, which makes it easy to do my bottom lashes and really separate those top lashes. Okay, I'm going in with the MAC um, Emphasize, and, um, and I'm just going to set that with my under, I'm just going to put that under my eyes and any places I kind of want some highlight to, like my chin, my nose, and my forehead, and this just adds like a nice shimmery, lighter color. It's really nice for fa um, fair skin because it's really hard to find shadows actually you know, add a good highlight. <laughs> and I'm also going in with my Anastasia Contour Palette um, with the color Java and the color Fawn, and I'm just mixing those two. And I'm using the Morphe um, E4 um, contouring brush, and I really like this brush. It's so perfect for really contouring your face and I just love it. <laughs> and I'm a very, this might take a while, I really just focus on blending that out because I do not want any harsh lines. Although I am going to make my um, cheekbone contour a little more prominent in a second with some powder, but right now I'm just focusing on really blending out that color. Okay, I'm going in with the Laura Mercier. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm butchering these words. And I'm just going to put that with a um, like slanted brush. Doesn't really, I don't think, matter. And I'm just going to um, pat that on right under that contour. So it's going to add some more definition. And we're just going to brush that away in a second. But first, we're doing a blush. And I'm using my Morphe NB palette, and I'm just going to put that on my face. It's very um, pigmented, so I'm really trying to blend that out, as you can tell. <laughs> and I'm actually going to be using two brushes to really blend that color out, because I put a little too much on, so I'm trying to even it out now. <laughs> And now we're just gonna brush away that powder and it's just gonna give us a nice line. Now, of course, we're going in with highlight, which is the Jaslyn Hill Champagne Pop from Becca Cosmetics. It is the best highlight, I love it. But if you have fair skin, make sure you really blend that out well, or else it's just gonna look 
like a line of orange on your face and it's really pretty if you just blend it out and I'm also putting that under my brows as a um, brow highlight okay finally we're doing the lips which I'm using the color Lolita by Kat Von D it's a really pretty color and perfect for fall